Hello everyone! It's been about three weeks since we left our angle kit to that guy from the local garage. And today is the day when I brought it back. I'll explain you what he did with that angle kit, but first let's go to the garage. He changed a one ball joint. As we can see, two rubber covers for ball joints. I don't know which one, I think this one and... So I'm not sure which ones. And then he changed the bearings from our old hubs. So we have no sounds now. And I guess now it's pretty safe to go sideways with it. I also bought thread adhesive for steering rods. But first I would like just to install and see if everything fits because tutorial says that we have to swap right side with the left side. So first we're gonna do just like fitment testing and then if everything's all right we'll put this guy on threads and bolt everything the proper way. So I'm gonna install fork first because it comes with a hub and then we will be able to connect other bits to our fork. So more or less it's ready and uh, this bolted. That one's bolted as well. I bolted the shock absorber too. And now we can see an angle, but I think it will change when we install this rod. Probably a problem with stabilizator, but we may be able to connect it through this hole or that. If no, I'll have to Google about if I can drill a hole down there and connect it like that. Looks like this guy doesn't fit. I'll think about it later, so... I guess I'll be installing a shock absorber first. So I had to unbolt this because I need to bolt shock absorber to a hub. We have one here there, oops, and another one down there. So I'll be trying to bolt those bolts right now and then tighten this one down, tighten those two and Let's try this guy to see if it really fits and if we really need to swap the sides. So I have a right side for a left side and I'll try to screw it in now and uh, let's hope everything will be fine with this one. And it looks like everything's oil right. Now I'm gonna assemble everything proper way. Probably install a wheel to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna clean the thread first. Oh, let's double check if it really a uh, right side. Here's the leather. So we are swapping sides of the rods, as the tutorial says. <laughs> Just before installing a brake disc, I digged a little bit online, spoke with a few guys and one advised me using a big washer. I had this in my mind but this one is completely on its angle but the guy I spoke with said that everything's alright with his car so probably we'll try to get same results with our project car and if we didn't like the results then we'll drill a hole in the middle. So I'm going to install this guy first, then brake disc, then brake pod support and fit a wheel and see how it looks like. So I use two spacers, one underneath this guy and one down there. As you can see, it's like still on full, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna go and put a brake disc. Woo, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to see how it looks like. And I have only one hour to finish this job because my girlfriend wants car, so let's make it quick. And we have everything assembled now. We definitely do. So I guess the moment of truth is coming. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this little guy I can start recording. And we'll be installing this wheel to see what we just did. Go! Nice! 
and we are done for today because I have to bring the car for my girlfriend and 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 I may come back this evening and start doing that other side but I don't know how deep I can go with that side because there is still turbo onto that side and it's still not finished so 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 there's still plenty of jobs left we'll have to finish installing angle kit or at least install it as much as we can i was thinking how much we can do basically i'm gonna install a tie rod first then i'll try to install our hub with the fork because it's still connected I connect everything to a shock absorber then i'll try to disconnect the fork from the hub and then a brake disc and pads So I thought that I'm gonna connect shock absorber with the hub but when I started doing that I understood that this guy gonna block this space so right now I'm gonna unbolt this bolt and try to hammer this guy out we don't need fork here right now but when we'll finish doing everything only installation of the fork gonna be left so it's gonna be a lot less fork at the end of this project this one doesn't want to go out so i poured some wd-40 on it so i'll try to hammer it and the thing is i don't want to damage this a rubber core of a ball joint so i'll have to be very careful i managed to disassemble this thing but uh, i assembled it back again this i did with one bolt and i didn't tighten those bolts too much because we'll have to disassemble it again and now i'm gonna connect shock absorber tie rod to our hub install brake discs and brake pads and it looks like we have everything in place now i'm gonna put front wheel on and we'll see the final result of our angle kit so i did like only three bolts and it looks like we'll need front wheels alignment but that's not a big problem as it looks like everything's as i wanted and uh, we have our angle kit installed so i guess i'm gonna undo everything i did like this side and remove the fork and i'll be going home so this is pretty much it with our angle kit if you enjoyed watching this hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and probably see you in the next episode we'll see so see you soon